Hello, my name is Janet Crittenden and I'm a Northern California artist and I'm here today to talk about the current pieces I'm working on in my ceramic studio. Let's first go over and see the pieces that I have in the Pence Gallery show right now entitled Wonderland 1 and 2. As you can see, I'm primarily a hand builder and enjoyed so much the challenge of building a piece to hang on the wall which I made a special wall hanging pedestal for. From this experience, I began an another wall piece, which I will talk about. First, I wanted to make an aside to my other art as an oil painter. Some years ago, I began studying the old master technique of oil painting. This was at the same time I was wishing I could paint better with glazes. Studying the old masters involves copying old master paintings in a detailed process such as this one I did from Peter Rugel the Elder's paintings, The Fall of the Rebel Angels of 1501. This process involves an intricate line drawing put down on the wood gesso panel, then a totally accurate rendering of the painting in oils in black and white tones. Finally, the colored oil glazes are put on top to add the color. This is not so unlike clay, where you make a form and then glaze the colors on top. In my regular paintings of animals, I did some anthropomorphic ones and kept many of the photographic references. Here's one, for example. Then I began making paper sculptures with them. I set them on a pedestal and did a grouping of them together. Then I added a print I had of a detail of the old master painting by Bosch entitled The Temptation of St. Anthony dated 1501. When I added this painting, it seemed like the paper sculptures flowed out of the painting into our three-dimensional reality. I like this idea, so I've become to build these paper sculptures into clay, as in my beginnings of the rabbit character on the left. I'm not being literal in the translation from paper to clay, as I want the freedom to express more of clay's three-dimensionality. Here is a second piece I've made in this context, using hands, memblings, the Passion of Christ, dated 1470. I'm planning to use some freedom in painting the old master copies too, so that they translate better with the clay. The wood panel and wood base will be designed so that the two can hang on the wall together and interact. I love the opportunity to combine clay and painting. I've long wanted to do this with Persian manuscript art as a more three-dimensional painting, and these are my four, my steps in this direction. Thank you very much for visiting me today, and I hope you will come back when I'm more along in this process. Bye-bye.